Adam's Family versus the Munsters. Wow. I saw, I've seen more Munsters me than Adam's Family. A lot more. Yeah, me too. By a large it, like, margin. My, that, and that's kind of part of like how I approach them because like I, I know the Munsters intimately. Like again, and, and a lot of this stuff boils down to what time shows are on and, and Munsters is just like really, really like friendly and inviting. Great feel. Yeah, it's, and, and, you know, it's fun and it's like, oh, there's Dracula, there's Frankenstein. Yeah, so I've seen a ton of it. But then there's also kind of like the familiarity breeds contempt kind of thing. Like, um, Adam's Family kind of had a mystique since I, I hadn't seen yeah. as much of it. I, I've seen enough, like I've seen a lot of it, but not nearly as much as the Munsters. So it is, a, it feels a little more like top shelf. Yeah. You know, the, the Adam's Family feels a little more top shelf than the Munsters. I, I got into the Adam's Family from the movies when I was little. Okay. Like, yeah. I, I, maybe like 91, 92, kind of like when those f films came out <clears throat> i really love adam's family values a yeah. lot mm -hmm. it's a classic but the, well, the yeah, movies that, that was the, were my thing with the movies like that first movie like i was so excited to see an adam's family movie um and I, but i was just a little you know and i enjoyed the visuals and the world and, and raul julia and stuff but uh and angelica houston christopher lloyd christopher lloyd but i just i didn't like the plot like i didn't like the story like I wanted to watch, you know, like a two hour or like an hour and a half hi highly produced episode. I didn't want to see like, a, you know, a guy pretending to be Uncle Fester coming to like bilk. That, like I wanted yeah. Uncle Fester to already kind of be in the mix and have some other, like I just, like they, they figured out a plot for it and I just didn't like the plot. So like Adam's Family Values, it's like we got all that out of the way right. and now we can just do the Adam's Family. Which was so much fun and like, uh, you got Joan Cusack. Mm -hmm. I think she's in the in Values, and man, that's a great one. It's it's the whole time. I think I'm gonna revisit that one. But we got the Munsters movie now. Like, yeah. if there was a Munsters movie when I was younger, it, it would have been interesting. Yeah, yeah, it would have been pretty cool. Um, there was there was a show called The Munsters Today. Do you remember no, that? No, I don't remember that. The Munsters Today. It was, um, you know, like late '80s, early '90s, and you know, and. Um, to, you know, it's like it's not the monster. You know, Fred Gwynn. We love you can't, you Fred can't Gwynn. The, the guy they got mm. um, to play Herman, it was um, the guy who played Painless from Matt the Mash movie. He oh, was. Wow. I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I. Grandpa was played by uh, the guy who played Carla and who played uh, <laughs> Bella Lugosi in. Uh, Ed Wood, who was it? Martin Landau. Yeah, for some reason, I'm picturing Martin Landau playing <laughs> Grandpa in The Monsters Today, but I don't think it was. It, it was it was somebody else. I mean, maybe. but it they're it's so they're so friendly and like, um, it's just enjoyable. It was on Fox like all the time, like The yeah. Monsters, and then it, when you would see Fred Gwynn on it, like I would see him in like <laughs> <laughs> he's like my cousin Vinny. Yeah, I'm like wow, it was like. The judge yeah. and Mike as a video. Yeah, people like, get real. And he's like, I don't know if he said it or if it was just kind of said about him, but that became like the curse of his career because everybody would get, like, they do like a test screening of some movie he's in. You know, he's in like the Cotton Club or whatever. And like, everybody would get so excited about about uh, Herman Munster being in the movie. And like, the audience wants to see him. They are excited, yeah. but like, the, the you know the studio execs execs or the director would be like oh well I, I you know I wasn't going for this I didn't want, you know I didn't want everybody to get super excited at this moment because for, and and my cousin Vinny was kind of like that was one where it's like yeah you know one one for him where it's like he got to be in a hit and and you know people were maybe over the novelty of oh there's Herman Monster, Monster you know by that point or he'd seem in like uh, Pet Cemetery. Mm -hmm. This this Disney movie called The Christmas Star. It's on Disney Plus. Okay, and he shows up in that, and he's an like an FBI agent. Okay, and I was like saying like, man, he, I was probably so excited to be playing something like so far away from like Urban yeah. Monster, uh -huh. like a different character. What is a Ute, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mister Vinny? What is a Ute? He no one pulls the wool over the eyes of a Gambini. He he was um, <laughs> like he was a very serious. He was a painter. He was very serious about his painting. And, like, that was one of the, like, early, like, Howard Stern, um, Stuttering John things. Where start, like, it was just a class. It was one of those things that kind of, like, made me a fan of, of, the, of the Howard Stern show and Stuttering John and stuff. But he, he, he's, like, asking, he goes to, like, 
his <laughs> art uh, his art show. That, Fred, that Gwynn. Fred Gwynn's oh yeah, Stuttering John goes to Fred Gwynn's art show, <laughs> and then he's asking him a bunch of questions, and then he's like, like, and they're kind of hitting it off a little bit, and you know, he's throwing some jokes in there and stuff, and then he's like, uh, did Vincent Van Gogh ever dress up as Frankenstein? <laughs> <laughs> And then Fred Gwynn like starts lecturing him. And he's like, John, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> when Fred Gwynn proves him wrong, he shows him a picture of Fitz Van Gogh. He's like, he's like, John, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. But uh, now that you mentioned it, I do have. Take a look at this textbook here. It's a picture of Fitz Van Gogh. He's got two bolts. He's like, Arr. he's like, I stand corrected. Now, like one of the one of the things, like, with, uh, kind of with this show, we've become we've become nostalgologists. I feel like I've yes. become a nostalgologist oh, as we, a result of this show, and so I'm kind of like fine tuning like the the science of the this heartbeat episode. of the show is a nostalgia is our nostalgia and maybe we'll do another episode about this but like we we're kind of talking about like watching these like watching like the just like the the opening songs and credits for like old tv shows from various oh, years and stuff gosh. and like amazing what i'm starting to see is like if i watch like a thing from when i was like six years old it's like a certain kind of memory and a certain kind of yes. feel um, but like around age six and onward, it's kind of like those memories are a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. Like it's like yes. those things are still super nostalgic and I like kind of light up when I see them, but I do have like a somewhat clear recollection, I, a, an understanding of them, you know, from that time. And then I'll watch something from when I was like three. Yes. And it's like magic. Isn't it magical? It's magic and stuff. And I think that's kind of like with the monsters for me and the Adams family. Cause like. I feel like I saw a ton of the monsters, you know, when I was like maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that that age. But I feel like my experiences with the Adams family were like younger. It would be like I'd be three and like watching reruns of the yes. Adams family and stuff. And I also remember again, I was probably like two or three or something. I remember like one of the neighbors had the Adams family board game, which had like all oh. the drawing because like you got like the Charles Adams yes. drawings and stuff. And so it was like this interesting thing of like and there was also an Adams Family cartoon, also. Oh yeah, I forgot about. And, that. and so it, you know, in a di so you got the the Charles Adams drawings, you got the Adams Family cartoon, you got the Adams Family show. So it was this like very rich brew in my head. And then also, like since I didn't get to watch a ton of it, like but but I saw it at an age where like you know my where the magic is big. That but, is... And, and, but then the uh, the the memory is not is like hazy, hazy. and stuff. Where you know with. Um, you know, the monsters, it was kind of the other way around. So it had this big mystique. And then when I was, like, maybe in high school or whatever, all of a sudden, you know, maybe a little younger, but, like, all of a sudden, the Adams Family was at a time on a channel. Like, I think it might have been Channel 57 or something in Philadelphia. Like, it was this new Channel 57, and they started having all this kind of stuff that, like, you know, you weren't able to get. You know, you could watch Welcome Back, Cotter, oh, and, like, yes. all this stuff. And I think I think maybe, maybe Adams Family was on. And then I started get, and it was, like, you know, it was kind of like interesting to revisit it then. It's kind of where I formed my opinion of the two, where it's like, I think the big difference between the Adams Family and the Munsters is like, the Munsters, they're just like ugly. They're just like weird looking. They're scary looking. You know, the one guy looks like Frankenstein, the one guy's Frankenstein, the one guy's Dracula, you know, the, uh, you know, Lily is, you know, um, you know, uh, one of, like Dracula's daughter or something like the movie Dracula's Daughter. We were just talking about, um, it was an episode of the Munster, he's talking about them being ugly, where he, Fred Gwynn's, uh, Frank, uh, Herman, he somehow was transformed to a, his regular face. Okay. And he thought he was ugly, and right. he needed plastic surgery to return him to his Frankenstein <laughs> That's great. I don't think I ever saw that episode. That's yeah. awesome. That's we should, we, that is good. We should do a Car 54 episode, too, because I love Car 54. Oh, my and gosh. you got, you got... Uh, um, Al Lewis, Grandpa Al Lewis in it, and Fred Gwynn. Oh, that reminds me that um, and Joey Ross, uh, Gunter Tutti. Ooh, ooh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah, Al Lewis. Like when I would watch uh, uh, Gremlins Two: The New Batch, yeah. he was basically doing his Grandpa Monster character mm -hmm. in that, and I, I was like, well, the the way 
Fred Gwynn tried to like get so far away from Herman Munster, uh, Grandpa Al Lewis ran <laughs> towards Grandpa <laughs> yeah. with arm, arms open, <laughs> and, and he was great. another like Howard Stern regular. <laughs> but like, so like, so like the Munsters, they're they're just ugly. They just look. They're just they're they're just basically like have these like fright masks that they wear all the time, but. They're they're nice. Yeah. They're like they they just you know they just want nice things out of out of the world. You know they're 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 not looking to do anybody any harm. They're they, just cool costumes. <laughs> yeah, they just have they just look weird and have a weird looking house. You know, but the Adams family are genuinely dark. evil. Yeah, it's dark. Shit. They they're evil, and they want to do harm to each other. They want to do harm to anybody that comes into their house. Uh, they're 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 like a like a like a Manson family or like they're yeah. this family of like serial killers basically, and like when you come into their world, like you could go to the Munsters' house and everything's fine, you have a nice meal and stuff like that, and then when you realize oh this is these aren't costumes, they really look like this, then like the person runs out the door and like there's like a, a hole in the wall that's shaped like them, <laughs> but like if if you went to if you went to the Adams family house. You're in danger. You're in they real kill danger. Your ass. You you could die. Like they could kill you. And so, like to me, that's that's like the different. And that's kind of like why Adam's family is better. Like that's a more interesting dynamic. dynamic. That's that's like like that's compelling. Like like I am, and you know, I've watched a lot more Adam's family recently. And and where like I'm not as interested in revisiting the monsters. Like for that, like that that Adam's family has a mystique and like. You know, you kind of like this attraction repulsion, and I kind of want to get to know them and find out, like, you know, what what their deal is and stuff. The um, I'm definitely gonna watch more. I, I got a feeling the monsters are probably on like Peacock or something like that. Yeah. And I gotta find where the cla like classic Adams. Well, the Adams family. Like, last I checked, like when I was watching a bunch of Adams family stuff, it was on Prime. Oh, it was right. on Prime. So there was like an episode of the Adams family where they're like. They're, I don't know, they're like having a picnic at a graveyard or something. And then they were talking about something about, like, you know, Gomez, John Astin, you know, Sean, great, Sean, Astin's Sean Astin's dad. dad. So crazy. Um, you know, also played uh, uh, Harry, Judge Harry's dad on, on Night, Night Court. Court. <laughs> yeah, with the new Night Court. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. Let's but, do another, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we'll do another episode on... Like, but, um... But uh, oh my god! But like, there's an episode, and they're they're having this picnic, and they're talking about like, like oh, how lucky the Adams are. Like, we have all this, and then um, and then Gomez is like, somebody down there likes us, <laughs> and so it's like, oh, there there's like Satanists too. Like this is this is <laughs> <a> badass. <Yeah. laughs> that's I mean, that's an interesting thing. Like, you you feel that like I know that um, Paramount already got you know in the '90s the Adams Family movies. But you'd feel like think that maybe Rob Zombie was like that'd be more his speed to do an Adams Family right. movie. Yeah, but again, like you can't. So like for me, it's like a familiarity breeds contempt kind of thing. Like I'm I'm familiar with the 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 monsters. I know them inside out. I know they're harmless, and so I'm not really that interested in them. The the uh, Adams Family have a mystique. I don't know them as well, but I'm fascinated by them. And they have danger. They, they have genuine danger. danger. So like, you, but like again. Rob Zombie, like, you know, he loved the monsters and, you know, Dragula he, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. He loves everything we love, too. Yeah. Because he even puts, like, Mickey uh, Mickey Dolans in his movies right. and stuff. Yeah, and, and like, I, I think, like, like <laughs> yeah, like, um, you know, there's sort of, like, the the uh, Rob Zombie who makes kind of, like, the hardcore horror movies. And you would, like, assume that he would be more into the Addams Family. I'm sure the Addams Family means something to him. But, like, he is, you know, it is kind of, you know... He is kind of like a nerd, N and he is kind of putting it on. A so I think like, like the monsters are kind of more his thing because they're like they're like horror, but they're goofy. Too, yeah, I, lo I love the they're monsters goofy. too. Yeah, yeah. I just like, um, you know, like I, f I feel like the the Adams family are like, are great. It's like a great. It's a great show, and and the monsters is just kind of like fun, nostalgic, kitsch, and like the monsters. Like you're most like I like their house. Like they both have great houses. Great houses. You're, you're like looking around, you know, checking out the houses. But like the monsters, when you're most of like what I think of in the monsters, and most of the things that sort of make me laugh and enjoy it are just Fred Gwynn just being like, oh, 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 that great kind of stuff. characters. <laughs> yeah. Even like Eddie Munster, yeah. like or, yeah, Butch Patrick. Uh, their faces are like really malleable, like really yeah. expressive. And and uh, 
grandpas. Oh, Herman, you know, like, Herman, you've really gotten us into, into something this time. Herman, you fuck up. Herman, you suck. Herman, you're, I can't believe my daughter married such a fuck up. Herman. Herman, oh, you you're... fucking moron. You numbskull. <laughs> Herman, you numbskull. You've done it again. Herman, you you've, been, you've been tripping over your dick all day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm laughing at that stuff, you know, which is not... But, like, the the um, the Adams Family, it's like, you know, I'm, it's kind of like you're kind of fascinated. And then the things you're laughing at are kind of, like, uncomfortable. Yeah. And, like, things about, like, the reality of this situation they're presenting as opposed to, like... Oh, let me watch this like real funny comedic actor ham it up Damn, with oh, another comedic actor. A tr- the thrice the thrice yeah, let me watch some thrice. Like, love it's just a different. Movies. It's a different kind of enjoy. And I feel like the Adams Family is a deeper experience. I, I read that the uh, the Adams Family like started out as a New Yorker cartoon or something. Yeah, it was a New Yorker cartoon Charles Adams, and it was like you know it would just be these kind of like ghoulish kind of this ghoulish kind of family involved in different things, and then I guess they had to come up with a name for it and called it the Adams, Adams family. family. And it is one of those things like like swamp thing and man thing where it's like they seem it seems like one is a ripoff of the other but it seems like they did kind of just sort of come together independently just yeah. at, the, at the exact same time yeah both like 1964 mm-hmm. same year they like i think yeah sort of famously herman and lily munster do sleep in the same bed like oh, they yeah. would talk about how like oh the brady bunch was the first show to do that but actually it was the munster i love lucy <laughs> yeah I, they have separate, <laughs> separate beds, beds. <laughs> but um but like you don't get the sense that they fuck, but like <laughs> Gomez, Gomez, and like they, they they like fuck on camera, like in the show, you know, like it's it's right there on the surface. Herman Munster has two bolts on his dick. <laughs> uh, they get electrified. Uh, 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 uh. He's like, it's a lot. <laughs> He's like, <"Dzz." laughs> it's like they're like, yeah, I got the Morticia Adams fetish. Someone's like, yeah, I got the Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. I, I, I always a light bulb in his mouth. Again, I was like so young, wa- watching watching the Adams Family. Um, like, I, I thought he was called like Uncle Vester because he like wore that's, vests. That's classic. <laughs> he like, doesn't wear a vest. Yeah, there was there was like, and I would always get cousin it and thing mixed because those names are so similar. I mean, I, I got it straight Same. now. Things the hand, and then cousin, it's like the furry guy. That's classic. That's what I did. The, all the same stuff too. Like we were talking about uh, uh, Priscilla Presley. I mm-hmm. I would call. I never heard oh. anybody Priscilla is what Priscilla. I, okay. Because like I, yeah. there isn't even all the letters in there, but right. I'm a I'm a Dorcas Malorcas, <laughs> and I never heard anyone when I was little say the name out mm-hmm. loud. Maybe I didn't see this in rerun. Maybe I saw this like when it was actually on TV, but there was like a um, Adams Family reunion movie. And again, oh, it's nice. like super early memories. I, it was like a TV movie. You know, I must have been really young when I saw it and, and it's possible that it, that it was actually when it aired. I'm not sure exactly what year it came out, but it was like full color Adams Family mm-hmm. reunion made for TV movie. I think it was like the same cast. So like the kids are like older and so, like, I, I'm not sure about that though. But like, and I re- and it looked, you know, the original Adams Family shot on film has that great look. Same, with, same with the monsters. There's, great great like, stock and like but like this one it was like filmed on video oh, in yeah. color and so it looked it looked like you were watching like a soap opera but yeah. like but the, like had, and like that's the thing the thing that stuck with me was like sort of this like we, weird like re, unreal but realer than real quality of it the, what a great time we had lived through too where like we, this cup has come up in many episodes like uh the bionic like like a series ends and then a couple years later they do like a, were there reunions the yeah. reunion the reunion the reunion stuff. yeah the Bra- our Brady Bunch thing was like about that yeah it is it is Bion- interesting these things like the wedding of the bionic man right you th- you think they go away but they they do like there's enough oomph there to to bring it back oh I love it there's kind of like that with like there's like that ninety show yeah which. Uh, you know, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, so insane. You know that like full cast is back. Yeah, and much. and that um like the '90s is like so far away. You know, like compared to like oh when the, that '70s show came out, and it just seems so like super retro. Now it's like wait the '90s and everybody's age of per- it's so yeah. wild because it's like the same. Yeah, it's twenty years. Twenty later, years yeah. later, isn't that ridiculous? If if I were better at math, like you could <laughs> plot all this stuff out. You could plot it on a graph and be like, okay. In uh, 2030, I need to be doing this, this, and this to capitalize on the nostalgia of that, that, that. You know. Yeah. 
We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to mark down the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, now that we're becoming nostalgologists... We are de definitely that's, that's our next t-shirt, is the nostalgologist t-shirt. Oh, my God! Now that I'm a, you know, professional cartoonist and all that kind of stuff, I just feel, because Adam's family, you know, grew out of, like, cartooning and, and you know, like, a, a, a basic, more or less a comics guy yeah. doing his, that Like, I feel just more of a connection to it as a thing, where, like, you know, the monsters is just kind of like, okay, we... You know we're universal. We own the rights to Frankenstein and all this kind of stuff. So like, wouldn't it like, be funny if they all lived in a house? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, John, John? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that crack. But it would be funny. He doesn't have a picture. He's like, it, it, uh, I have proof. Jo uh, John, what what do you think the answer to that question is? I uh, I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> John, he didn't dress up like Frankenstein because he dressed up as <laughs> the mummy. He has a picture of him <laughs> in his wrappings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, I feel like was there like a creature from the Black Lagoon episode of the monsters? There has to be, you know, like a mummy, like you know, Uncle This or Cousin That, or whatever. and God. you know, both of those, both of those shows are like so iconic and just really great. Show. Like you, you wish that you know there was some equivalent of it today on TV, but like both like lasted a season. They were both here and gone like that, you know. <laughs> like the, uh, well, I was just thinking about the shows today and like all the budget. For television is kind of like an HBO or like mm -hmm. those shows look like a million bucks. Then you watch something that's on like a network show. It's the cheapest looking shit ever. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, have you watched Wednesday yet? Not yet. I haven't checked it out yet either. I just like a, a friend of mine sent me just like the clip of there's like a dance scene where they have like a dance off yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I saw that. Like that was like kind of I'll have to check that, I saw out. that that Netflix. Yeah. Is that on Netflix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and. Uh, yeah, so so I have to check that out, and then we'll do like an episode about about that. Definitely, we'll, do, we'll, we'll watch the the um, monsters. monsters. Do an episode about that. We'll watch the the Wednesday. Do an episode about that. Like my my friend, he sent me the video of of the the dance scene in uh, in Wednesday, and he kind of sent it to me as like, oh, isn't this stupid? And like, uh, he's like, this is a great song by a great band, but. You know, they're just ripping off. Uh, they're just ripping off Pulp Fiction. Fiction. With, and, but I'm watching. I'm like, this, this is, is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's a great dance. <laughs> He's like, they're a Jackrabbit Slims. Yeah. Like, I don't know if we've settled anything here, but you know, Adam's Family versus like, just like, what's what's your vote? Adam's Family or Monsters? What's your vote? Oh, I gotta go Monsters. Monsters. I'm yeah. thinking about Monsters, man. Yeah. Again, I am. I am more of like a familiarity breeds contempt kind of guy. I'm always like more interested in that thing that's. You know, like a little further, like out of arm's reach, a little more luster, uh, in in general. But I do, I genuinely believe that that um, that Adam's Family is the better show. Like, so I gotta go. It's good that it's a split decision. It's good that because like I gotta go with the Adam's Family, but, like hands down. But I love the Adam's Family movies, so I put the those movies, on. Yeah, like, the I, show. The, yeah, the show. I haven't watched. Like to me, show. I mean, for me, it's it's the other way around. Like the Adam's Family movies are okay, um, and I'm happy to have them. But like the Adam's Family show is such a classic. It's great television. Every now and then something great comes out of TV. And like Adam's Family is great. Munsters is great too. But it's like kind of like a schlocky greatness where like I think there's something very profound and wonderful about the Adam's Family. And like like if I was going to put one on um, on uh, uh, on the Voyager uh, satellite or whatever, I I definitely put, put Adam's Family. Put Adam's That's family. great. Uh, put them in the same arena. In, yeah, I'm, and I'm glad it was it was a split this and it makes sense. Like I feel like a great. What a great feel. When you mention off the top, it's like yeah. a friendly like. But but still have right. monsters. Like, so there. it's like yeah, like a show. Like are you you know the the, the kind of show. It's like it's comforting. It's yeah, like, very you know, comforting. It's like, and, and and you you want to be a part of the monsters, and like, um, like I don't want to be a part of the Adams family, <laughs> but I'm afraid I might. Oh be. no. We might be doing uh, a Total Recall show psychotherapy here, or, yes. or like uh, Rorschach test or whatever. But I it, like, I, I I feel like I I would enjoy the challenge and I'd relish the excitement and the danger and the adrenaline rush 
of seeing if I could spend time with the Adams family and come out of it ahead, come out of it alive, and you know uh, that's inter- That's an interesting yeah. take too. So that's uh, that. You know, that's for that's our total recall. Uh, you, you come in after me, and my head's on the wall. With like a, I'm like mounted. My head's mounted on the wall. Yeah, because I think I'm it's dead. like you know, in the opening credits, they're like throwing <laughs> knives at each other. So, although the opening credits of. Uh, Laverne and Shirley, uh, season four, they all are also drawing. You're knives, in the so. Adams family living room. You're like, I heard uh, Matt was here earlier. He's like, yes, he was an he was <laughs> an amazing guest. In fact, there he is right there. Well, you know what else I'm is like, nice? Bleh. The Adams family, like, they don't conform as neatly to archetypes as the monsters, and so it's inter- like there's not quite an there's not a, there, like there's an you know. Herman Munster is Frankenstein's monster. Uh, you know, um, uh, Grandpa is, is Dracula. Like, what's Gomez? Like, <laughs> yeah, you can't, he's, he's, he's just Gomez. Gomez you know, and it's Gomez. like, you know, what... Pugsley's Pugsley. Pugsley. Pugsley's Pugsley. And, like, and Pugsley is an archetype. And you see him in, like, you see that Pugsley archetype. Like, Pugsley is his own archetype. He's not conforming to some previous... Like, he, he is, is a new archetype, and it's like... You know, and so then you see like him in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. There's like a yeah. Pugsley type, and so and and then um, and like Lurch. It's like he's kind of Frankenstein, but, but he's kind really. of like a zombie or like more Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> he's like um, Solomon <laughs> Grundy would be like you know, um, and then uh, and then cousin. It, it is so you know, bizarre. I love it. Why wasn't Dolph Lundgren playing Lurch in the new new apps? You, new you know, I might I'm, I might as well throw this in here. Like I, I don't know. I talked about this a little bit, but there's there was like a uh, a horror host in uh, Philadelphia. Yes, Stella. Uh, her real name Karen Scholey. Uh, you know, we're we're related somehow. I, I've wow. never met her in my life, but we're re- apparently awesome. related somehow on on my dad's side. But uh, she was like and. Her milieu was like a little more Adams family than, than that's too cool. I didn't know yeah. that. Like in Philly and stuff, you know, people, you know, people here here would hear my name and be like, "Oh, are you related to Stella?" Someone's you know? like, "Hey, Sven Gulli's my <laughs> stepdad." Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but, Matt, you're He's my father. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, whatever Sven Gulli's real name is. Yeah, that's uh, your mom's maiden His name, name is Sven Gulli. <laughs> He's like, yeah. "He's my stepdad." Um, and, and her her show was Saturday Night Dead. Was her show. Talking about the television openings, like the magic time ones when you're like a little younger, when you just kind of yeah. like know it. Uh, there, when I was watching through some openings, there was uh, just the ten of us. We were talking yeah, about that. Just the ten. Of, uh, yeah, I remember just the ten of us. Very, or the yeah. or the Hogan family. The Hogan family. Yeah, just the ten. And I liked just the ten of us. And again, like we were like a big fat, like a big Italian family. Yeah. So I related to to just the ten of us. To do it, the best of And it was it was like a spinoff of. Um, oh yeah, he's the coach from. Is it Growing Pains? From Growing Pains. Yeah, he was the, the basketball coach coach from Growing Pains. And I remember. And you know, okay, here's how I relate to it. Big. I'm from a big family. Big family. Uh, the coach kind of looks like my dad. Yeah. You know, this kind of like uh, round, uh, bald guy. <laughs> and then, um, and then they were Catholics too, which was yeah, like the explanation you know, <laughs> of why they had a million. I was. Kids. Gonna, I, I was thinking about that too. I was like, this guy is like. <laughs> and they were they were Catholics, but then it also like. Um, there were miracles <laughs> in the show. There were miracles. I forgot. Holy shit. Yes, there were miracles. And uh, we, we got to do it just the 10 of us <laughs> episode. But yeah, there were miracles on the show. And my dad was big about talking about miracles too. When I was a kid, he was very into miracles. But there were miracles on the show. And the one miracle, like to me, I was like, the, the, you're pushing credibility too far with these miracles. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, and again, I'm, I'm, you know, I was getting Catholic school and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, okay, like, okay, yeah, I believe in miracles, <laughs> but uh, this is bullshit. But it was like, the the one daughter was going to join the priest. Uh, the one daughter was going to join the sisterhood. She was going to become a nun, and she's not sure. And like, there's a little bit like she's going to do it, but then like her mom's like, oh, are you sure? You know, there's like some conflict and stuff. And so then. Like they're on they're on the car ride to the convent or whatever, and then the car breaks down, has to get repaired. You know, it's like um, it's it's like Doc Hollywood or something. Uh, like, yeah, they're stuck God. in this like town, and there's a million crazy characters and stuff like that, and they that blah blah blah. And then and and then they have this like big catharsis, and like it's raining, and she's crying. She's like, Mom, I don't want to join. I don't want to join the sisterhood. It's not for me. I'm not gonna do. Oh, you know, okay, a big hug and all this kind of stuff. Big catharsis. And then, like, there, something happens, and then they look around, 
and the town that they were in completely vanishes like uh brigadoon oh, or something. Oh it's God. gone and then and then like a uh comet streaks by <laughs> in the sky and then they're like, yeah and it was a miracle and they're like we're not gonna tell anybody about this and so i remember that that was like a very special episode of just and i was like fuck this show. this show's stupid there was the episode where, he, where the dad throws out a whole bunch of his condoms <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. like he's well, that, that, gives I mean, and he's like these are going right to the trash <laughs> that is like an ongoing uh subgenre in tv is like the 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 family where the where the, 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 the sitcom where they don't practice birth control you know <laughs> so i mean and brady like bunch is them, like yeah. in, the, in the in the garden yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the eight is enough, and, and it is. And the dad always looks the same. Yeah, yeah, the dad like, always does look like my dad. It's like like uh, Dick Van Patten. Yeah, oh, I forgot about eight is enough. Eight is yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, R.I.P. Adam Rich Nicholas yeah. from Eight is enough. Um, he's like uh, King Randall, yeah, like, King uh, Roland, the, the Lone, Lone Star. Star. Um, but yeah, but that is that is. I'm glad we went on that detour to uh, <laughs> just the ten, ten of, of us. us, and then like another one. Um, there's just so many. There was like this one show was like a, a doctor, and mm-hmm. it was James Brolin and this other doctor had a practice together. And I was like, I was going through these deep cuts, and it's like, well, some of those shows, it's like you see the opening credits for like the show you know, and that you've watched a million times, like you know Happy Days or something, and you're like, oh, I remember that, I remember that. But then there'll be a show that you don't remember at all. Maybe you saw it. And as a kid and forgot maybe they, and like those are like super nostalgic because yes. it's like the music and the sounds and then the pictures of everybody like they're all in their circle and smile and like laughing <laughs> and you're like man that's super nostalgic. like i don't remember that show at all but it's like it's doing something to my head you know and they started parodying it in like the 90s these formulas but like in the 80s there was this thing where they have the opening credits of a show and then you'd have like some little circle or something where you'd get all, all like it would cycle through all the members of the cast and they'd be like I love laughing it. Or, you know <laughs> eating an ice cream kind of laughing and, and like I always think like you know what's going on like what's because they're just sort of silently smiling and laughing and like I'm just picturing the deck the director or something saying laugh motherfucker laugh okay. start fucking laughing if you don't laugh yeah. you're gonna be in the unemployment world <laughs> <laughs> faster than you can say action but anyway uh, so Very this was fun this was a fun walk down memory lane kind of bleeding into some other episodes but yeah uh, you've been watching the Adams Family it's one to one Adams <laughs> Family versus the Monsters the, the Monsters I'm Tom Scholey author of Jack Kirby The Epic Life of the King of Comics and Fantastic Four Grand Design I'm Matt Zioli and you can follow me on Twitter at Tom Scholey or on Instagram at Tom underscore Scholey follow me on Instagram at Cinema underscore Tomb and check out my Patreon go to Patreon.com search Tom Scholey and see various comics and things that I've been working on follow the show on Instagram at Total underscore Recall underscore Show and we'll see you next time or maybe we won't see you next time if we go for a visit to the <laughs> Adam's family house. Oh, it, we have to cut out when we do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we we have like the run of the Munsters house. It's like a second home. We can hang out whenever we want. There's no, but like then it's like the 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 uh, Adam's family house by appointment only. You may not make it out alive. <laughs> Very, I'm getting scared. Yeah.